President Biden is under increasing pressure from some Democratic lawmakers to do something none of his predecessors did in office join striking workers marching on picket lines. As United Auto Workers strike against three of the nation's largest automakers, many Democrats in Michigan and across country are expressing concern that former President Donald Trump, Biden's likely opponent in next year's election, is trying to influence union voters and weaken a key Democratic Party, expressed concern constituency by making his own visit to the strike area. Trump is planning a rally with union workers, including auto workers, in Detroit next week during the next GOP primary debate. But it's unclear whether Trump will also visit the picket line. According to a person familiar with campaign planning, anonymity to disclose plans, Democrats want Biden to underscore the party's differences on labor issues. This will send a very strong message that Democrats represent working people. I really believe Biden needs to show up and show up soon, said Michigan State Rep. Mike McFall, a first-term Democrat whose district includes part of Detroit. Biden applauded the UAW's targeted strike against Detroit's big three manufacturers and called on General Motors. Ford and Stellantis on Friday to improve their wage offers to the union. The president's aides believe he has gone beyond supporting workers through numerous executive orders and legislation aimed at improving workers' outcomes. But still, the labor action has posed a political conundrum for the president, who must figure out how far he can go on behalf of UAW workers. The White House declined to comment when asked whether Biden was considering visiting the picket line. But in interviews with The Washington Post, more than a half dozen Democrats in Congress and the Michigan state legislature said he should go. According to two people with knowledge of internal discussions and UAW official, UAW leadership informed the White House that a presidential visit would be welcomed although it did not extend formal invitation. All three spoke on condition of anonymity. I know UAW family would want most powerful person in world. President of United States. To come and hold a banner in solidarity with them. But I hope he does that by actually sitting down with some key people and having a roundtable and really listening to how difficult this is, said Rep. Rashida Tlaib and he wants someone in solidarity to demand some kind of economic justice for their families. Several members of Congress, including House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, Sen, Bernie Sanders and John Fetterman, have joined the UAW strike since the strike began at midnight Friday morning. Attended. Rep. R. O'Connor who wrote and oped about the strike with UAW President Sean Fain and joined striking workers in Michigan and Ohio on Monday, said in a statement, it would be great for the president. Biden, the most pro-union president in decades.